Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math on Lompet algebra problem. So here we have c factorial equals to c cubed minus c and we solve this problem for the values of c if our c is not equals to 0. Uh, so it means that we find uh, the non-zero values of c. Uh, the very first step we are going to do is here uh, first uh, we need uh, the nice uh, factorial formula you know that if you have uh, m factorial it is equals to m times of m minus 1 factorial okay so it means that you just break the factorial in the sense you can just uh, decrease uh, each term by 1 and you multiply all of these numbers uh, likewise if you have 5 factorial it means that we need to multiply this 5 uh, up to 1, 5 times of 4 times of 3 times of 2 times of 1. So you just multiply all of these numbers uh, and this is the factorial of 5. So in the next step here we need to uh, use this nice formula to this term so that over this term is written as this is c factorial we write it as c into c minus 1 factorial equals to here we need to take common c and when you take common c it will be written as c into c square minus c and now in the next step here we need to divide both of the sides by c because c be the common term on both of the sides so when you divide uh, both of the sides by c then here we write it as this is cancelled out by the c and we get in the left hand side is c minus 1 factorial equals to this c is cancelled out by this c and here we get sorry this is equals to 1 because when you take common c from here it will becomes 1 so here we get c square minus 1 and now we write this 1 as 1 square uh, and here uh, we need to use uh, this algebraic formula if you have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so according to this algebraic formula uh, we can expand the right hand side in this formula but in the left hand side we use this factorial formula which we can write above so according to this formula we write this c minus 1 factorial as c minus 1 times of c minus 2 factorial equals to here we use this formula on this term and it will be written as c minus 1 times of c plus 1 okay so further in the next step uh, here you see that c minus 1 uh, present on both of the sides so now we divide both of the sides by c minus 1 in this way so this c minus 1 is cancelled out by this c minus 1 this c minus 1 is cancelled out by this c minus 1 and we get the remaining terms are c minus 2 factorial equals to c plus 1 okay this is the factorial sign uh, and now in the next step uh, here we need uh, further simplifications uh, and now uh, we will take here uh, x is equals to c minus 2 so when you take the c minus 2 equals to x and here you easily get the value of c so our c is equals to x plus 2 so now we uh, just uh, take these two substitutions to the above equation so that our above equation is written as in this form so when you put this c minus 2 equals to x it will be written as x factorial equals to here you have c plus 1 and our c is equals to x plus 2 it will becomes x plus 2 and plus 1 so after simplification we get here x factorial equals to x plus 3 this is 2 plus 1 equals to 3 okay and now in the next step uh, here uh, we need more simplifications and uh, uh, now we uh, just take here uh, we can just uh, uh, do the next step by inspection here we need uh, some values of x and in which we can check that which value of x is satisfied this equation by inspection okay 
so here first uh, we start at x is equals to 4 now when you take x equals to 4 we check the behavior of this equation and now you see that after substituting x equals to 4 it will become 4 factorial equals to 4 plus 3 and i can explain above about factorial signs those 4 factorial means that we multiply 4 times 3 times 2 times of 1 equals to uh, this is 4 plus 3 is equals to 7 and you see here 4 times of 3 becomes 12 12 twos are 24 so we have 24 is equals to 7 so you clearly say that 24 is not equal to 7 so that uh, we rejected this case and we can just proceed here uh, and other substitution and now we will take here uh, here you take x equals to 4 and now we check that at x is equals to 3 so at x equals to 3 we substitute x equals to 3 on this equation okay so after substituting x equals to 3 our above equation is written as 3 factorial equals to 3 plus 3 and now we expand this 3 factorial so 3 factorial equals to 3 times of 2 times of 1 and 3 plus 3 equals to 6 so you get 3 times of 2 becomes 6 is equals to 6 so this shows that x equals to 3 satisfied the uh, satisfied uh, this equation okay so this equation implies that x is equals to 3 so according to this uh, here we um, we need x equals to 3 so here we can just uh, finally proceed x equals to 3 here and now you see that here we take our x equals to c minus 2 so that we back substitute this value here so when you put x equals to 3 here uh, x equals to c minus 3 so this uh, will be written as c minus 2 equals to 3 and here we move this minus 2 to the right hand side so it will become c equals to 3 plus 2 and finally we have the values of c is equals to 5 this is the final answer of this question and now here in the next step we need to uh, verify this value of c and we check that is this value of c satisfied the given question statement or not uh, so that we first copy down the given question statement and it is c factorial equals to c cubed and minus c so when you put c equals to 5 here it will becomes 5 factorial equals to 5 cubed minus 5 and 5 factorial means that we multiply 4 5 4 3 2 and 1 and 5 cubed equals to 125 minus 5 okay so 5 4 is a 20 23 is a uh, here we write 5 4 is a 20 23 is a 60 60 2 is a 120 so this implies that 120 equals to 125 minus 5 equals to 120 this shows that the value of c satisfied the given question statement so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos